in this example we're going to acquire some data from a serial RS232 communications link and then use the serial decode tools to decode the ASCII characters transmitted. The setup is um, a two-channel setup so on channel A we have connected to the transmit line of an RS232 pair and channel B has been connected to the receive line of an RS232 uh, communication pair. So I'm going to change the uh, trigger condition to single trigger and then arm the trigger condition. So this is now waiting for some data to be transmitted and now we see uh, some transmitted data. So on channel A we had the trigger and we acquired a, um, a transmitted burst of data and then sometime later on channel B a uh, received data packet appeared. This is in fact a communications link to an instrument and this is a control from a computer. So at this point we can go ahead and set up the decode tool. So under the tools I'm going to select serial decode and here we can see the channels A and B which are turned on. So again both channels are going to be RS232 so that's going to be for the transmitted link and channel B is going to be for the uh, received link. Uh, in fact this is an example where we can use um, the channels to decode any buses at the same time. So now we have to set up each channel. So for channel A the threshold is zero which is correct. The uh, bowed rate is 9.6 kilobode which is correct. Obviously this could have been changed. And in the settings we can set up information about a particular link whether the idle is uh, high or low, the number of uh, bytes of data 5, 6, 7 or 8, whether there's any uh, parity bits, uh, how many stop bits 1 or 2 and what order the data was sent in. So that must be set for the correct decoding. And similarly on uh, channel B we set up the threshold and the bode rate. Uh, the data can be viewed in the view menu or into a separate window. So I'm going to turn on separate windows for the two uh, acquisitions. So now here straight away we can see the decoding window uh, A and B. So this is uh, channel A. So it, this is the uh, packet of data that has been acquired and here we can see the uh, data bytes in hex. So I'm going to change those uh, to a ASCII format and then we can read those in, in ASCII and similarly with the uh, B this is in hex so I'm going to change the B view similarly to ASCII. So now we can go and have a look at the command. So here we can see the uh, command set out. So the command that went out was channel 1 impedance query. So the, the controller was asking the impedance of the instrument and then we can see the reply has come back 50. So it has returned that it's obviously in a 50 ohm format. Finally I'm just going to increase the record length to show how we could actually capture more packets. So I'm going to increase the uh, length to 100 milliseconds and then arm the trigger. So again we're waiting for a, a data transmission. So here we can see uh, a transmission again and we can see that uh, a repeat transmission was sent out sometime later. So we could either measure this with cursors or we can look into the uh, recorded data. So just to measure it with a cursor we can see the first transmission went there and put a second cursor when the second transmission went out. So the, the time between the two transmissions was 802 milliseconds. And we could see the similar information here because we can see the uh, packet time. So here we can see the first command going out. So we can see uh, channel 1 impedance query and that, uh, the last bit of that went out in uh, 15 milliseconds and then some 802 milliseconds later the second transmission occurred. So we can use the decoded data to uh, do any time calculations on transmissions.